coming in. There's a digger that's been digging. Morning, Holly. There we are, we coming. What a beast. Good morning. Taking this older fart lift back along to yard number two. Also got that trailer of fertilizer that we loaded yesterday to unload. Made it, you don't get anywhere quick in that. It technically goes 25k, but only goes 20k really. Just waiting for Kev to appear, so I'm gonna have a wee peek at this barley, it looks lovely. This is looking like some good stuff. Look at that. All the seeds have formed, and there's nothing in them, they're just hollow at the moment. And over the next couple of months, they'll start to fill out, hopefully to get nice and bulked up and heavy. That's what we want. Smashing, lovely. Look at that. Sweet, sweet urea. Load of straw while we're at it for a store of cattle. Stop yard number three where the bullocks are. Uh, getting fed up with these forks. Moving bales of forks is just so much more tricky. Bell grabs a lot easier. There's one over there. Different hitch on it though. These two want to fall over. No, no, no. The final two. Come on. Stay on the forks, stay on the forks. That's it, that's it. And we're in. Jobs are good. Oh, boy. Grub. Uh huh. Only a few days now till we get him in action. Sunflowers are looking fan dabby dozy. So if I'm right in saying, so if you have a look at the sunflower, the wee jaggedy nicks out of it, aphids. If it's more of a munch or like a curved bit missing like that, or even more, slugs. And they're full of moisture. You can see the moisture there. These plants just soak up serious amounts of moisture. In areas of potential drought, they have to be really careful when they're growing these because they soak so much water out of the land. A rare issue for us because it's always flipping soaking. Quick car park update, the mound is getting a lot bigger. There's also a drain running the whole length of where the road is and down the side of these cottages and into the old car park. So Carl's right there because that's where the start of the road comes in. So it follows down the side of the road. That livestock trailer, you can't actually see it. Needing to wash that, so I'm just going to go and power wash that. Before that, I need to go and chuck this battery out of the banger. I took it off the banger yesterday to start one of the old cars. Yep, this is needing a bit of a wash. inspection it's a yearly inspection just happening right now so all the way and get that done hopefully it'll be a pass with flying colors kev's just taking a sprayer out he's away along the road to yard number three to spray tomorrow he had the brush on and did all this so we had the sqc inspection also qms at the same time i think different companies but owned by the same parent company or something like that they do the inspection of the two bits at the same time sqc scottish quality cereals qms Quality meat Scotland. So one's covering the meat, one's covering the cereals. Just checking we're up to scratch on standards, medicine cabinets are all good, chemical stores are all good, the protocol we're using when we're doing things is good, we've got the right certifications to do all these bits and bobs. So yeah, we've got all that sorted out and he's way happy. I've topped up this, I'm gonna shift it, take it for a wee spin. It's not been out for a while, other than having a wee go at towing that trailer. It probably didn't enjoy uh, towing that trailer. Not so nice on the clutch. Coming in. Here 
She fires into life. She loves it. There we go. The boss is having a go. That's the first time he's been on that, actually. That machine's the 50. The grey thing, not my dad. We're going to make it happen. We're going to go get a pin and see, see if it'll work. Predictions that the front wheel's going to go up. The plate going to fall off. Oh. I think I'm ready to tow. the petrol. Possibly, yeah. To move 20 yards. Worth it. <laughs> Perfect. Bent the rebar a wee bit, but not bad for a 19 something. Car park progress. We've got a drain and a mound that's ever growing. I've got a magic box. I've been doing magic box things. There's a digger that's been digging. Uh, a bit of progress out here. Um, so he's finished the drain, I think. And then that wee part of the corner used to be a curve. He squared that off for now. I think possibly starting to rip up the turf tomorrow. And a lot of that will go on top of the mound to finish it off. Okay, currently on top of the dryer. So first of all, there's meant to be a conveyor sitting there. That's been taken off. There's a new one going on. New one that's going on. We've not decided where to upgrade that slightly to a bit more heavy duty one. Costs a few more bob, but we have had quite a few issues with that and had to change cogs semi-regularly so we'll probably actually upgrade to the heavy duty one so all this section here is new so that aerator box basically was worn out in a couple of places it was holy there's another mesh on the inside that was worn out as well there was holes in it brand new unit there no problems touch wood with these things yes we could have patched the holes and got away with a few other things but at harvest time you don't want to have a breakdown. Specifically this year, we don't want to be messing about with waiting for parts at harvest time because the value of the stuff coming off the field is extremely high, the highest it's ever been really. Getting new parts is a real tricky issue right now as well. There's a big delay to get parts, so don't want to have to deal with that. So we're just spending probably a wee bit more money than we would have normally right now to sort all the problems. And hopefully that means come harvest time, be running non-stop the dryer will be zero issues there'll be none i say that there'll, there'll be issues but hopefully less and less downtime downtime at harvest time just equals loss of revenue you have a breakdown here and it means you can't get more wet stuff in the shed it means you stop combining delays our field for maybe a day you end up with a bit more shedding on the field a bit more of the grains falling off the heads it delays you there you then get delayed elsewhere and it's it just a things can get a bit progressively out of hand or out of sync pretty quickly if, if you have a wee breakdown here and it lasts a bit longer than it should. Here's a pile of bits. So that's what this pile is and now a pile of scrap. That piece is actually just the second half of this. So that's one big channel. I think, I think, is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that piece joined onto that piece is the conveyor off of the top, changing quite a few sprockets that are worn out. And there's a few more sprockets over here, worn out. Stretch chains that are getting replaced. And that's the aerator that I showed you the new aerator up the top. That's the old one. Got a few holes, there's mesh, that's knackered. I show you that. I showed you that yesterday as well. We'll keep that chain, that's quite handy to keep. Whoa! <laughs> but we just bought two new cows. <laughs> 